2023, we took this car on a racetrack. I spent over 500 laps on the sim rig, nailing this track. And when I actually got to the racetrack and I drove it for the five to eight minutes I was flying, the car felt perfect until I overheated the car. Oh no, something happened. Oh no, guys. Let's find out. He's pissing coolant there, bud. So we're gonna see if we can find it. That, that is not supposed to be on the outside. And then it only got worse. We lost air suspension control. Our titanium exhaust started to crack again and our frunk install hit a wall because the actual carbon Kevlar hood that we put on is awesome, but all the bits and pieces underneath it to make it functional is like a $15,000 job. And that was not something that was in my budget. So what does that mean? It means like the car that we fell in love with is slowly rolling backwards, kind of like the Sisyphus analogy, if you will. And we were so close for this car to being able to do everything I wanted at least, and then it all just went to shit. And as simple as it sounds, I do want this car and all my cars to be able to survive a full track day. I feel like that's a fair thing that you should hold me accountable to and I should be able to do, because if it can't, then I just don't want it. So we're gonna get this car to that level or we're gonna get rid of it. And I don't really wanna get rid of it. It's one of my favorite cars. So I suppose it's time to tell you the truth. This car is falling apart. You've watched this car build since 2020. The car has seen a couple different colors, a couple different builds, a couple different series and episodes, but for the most part, it's always been one episode here and there, and then the car kind of disappeared. It showed up for a car show and it looked good, but in all honesty, there's always been these little issues, these plaguing issues that have kept this car from doing what I ultimately really wanted to do with it, which was get it to drive and not overheat. Like the air suspension giving me issues is not a huge huge deal, but it becomes a bigger deal when AccuAir, the company that's on the car, is out of business and left me with absolutely zero help and a running joke that it would take me more than five minutes just to get this car aired up and out of the garage. If you didn't know, there's a misfiring issue with the car. We think that that has to do with the fact that the car has an O2 sensor that continues to get fried out because this exhaust is just a big pain in the ass. It's a big pile of shit cheese and apparently we've got a whole bunch of plastic snaps in the back that have broken off we've got the interior plastic snaps that have broken off and now it's rattling it's very very annoying why am i telling you this because i want to tell you that we're bringing back the junkyard f430 series i made a post in the community a few months ago now where i asked what should i do with this car should i just fix it should i not fix it should i do should i sell it and you guys said alex if the car is overheating make a video series of you fixing the overeating issue. And so that's what I've done. I spent the last probably eight weeks or so doing a ton of research on the platform, doing research on the coolant system, doing research on the exhaust manifolds, doing research on why everything rattles apart because I feel like I needed to know what I was about to jump into so I could share it with you. There's only a few people that have honestly built Ferrari F430s list here in the States. And because of that, I wanted to make sure that this series felt just a little bit different. So over the next month or so, you and I are going to get this car in a place that I'm comfortable with, a place where it can be raced, shown and driven and not kind of feel like, you know, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Like you're proud, but you're kind of anxious about it, like being in the top 1%. But the biggest challenge is going to be doing the coolant system. And that would come without a letter from someone. So we would hope. Now, if you want to support the series, the biggest thing that we're doing is I still have that never abandon what's important tee. This car shirt is really important. Specifically, it has the Ferrari on it, but the bigger kitty that's on it, that one, was Carmel. It was the closest animal I've ever had in my life. He passed away when he was 18 months old because of something called FIP. And it's a curable disease that doesn't have a cure in the United States because of funding. It hasn't passed all the steps and things like that. So unfortunately, Carmel uh, passed away. So every purchase of the tea above, a portion of that is going to go towards the not-for-profit organization that's dedicated to getting that cured so no one else has to go through that because Carmel was my baby. I love that cat to death um, and I just really uh, hope nobody else has to go through that so we're just gonna keep that tea going for this series and I wanted to let you know plus who doesn't love a cat and car tea but here let me show you exactly 
what we need to fix. All right, so what I'm gonna show you is maybe some things you've never seen before and are probably gonna put me a little bit on the spot, but I wanna be transparent with you and kinda go into detail of what we're trying to do with this car. Never really done anything like this, so follow along, and if you have information, throw in the comments below. So first things first, this air suspension has been a nightmare on this car. Uh, we rushed it when we first installed it, but the second and third time we tried to cleaning it up, it still just gave us issues. Airlift is what we're gonna be throwing on the car. We're going away from the AccuAir system. AccuAir is not supported anymore. Uh, we love the guys that work there. When they work there, they got bought out. Apparently the whole thing got shut down. Uh, so people like me are just stuck with a system that is no longer worth anything. Um, but <laughs> outside of the fact that we gotta get that changed around, the car doesn't hold air. So I can air this thing up right now. It's gonna take like five minutes. And overnight, I'm gonna lose all the air in the lines. I'm gonna lose all the air in the bags, which is just a huge pain in the ass. It actually, on this car specifically, because of the steering column, or the steering rack, it actually places a really heavy amount of pressure, like right here or so. I had to get the steering rack or steering column, both are the same thing, I think, replaced. And when I got it replaced, it was very expensive. Um, but now I'm going into the same issue again because the car keeps airing out. I also have this that I need to fix, which I just found. You should never sit close to your car, I'm starting to learn, because over time, you see all the that's wrong with it. Um, apparently we completely did, I don't know if we did something to these wheels or if the wheels are like losing their coating or what's going on. I'm gonna just take blame on it because I don't know what the hell's going on. But like the black, the wheels we have have all of these scratches on it now. And we haven't like mounted it to anything. We haven't remounted it. There's a ton of scratches on the lip here that we gotta get cleaned up. I might just end up going back to the BBSs for the season. I'm not entirely sure what you guys think. If you saw the blue wheels, let me know. See if you like those more. Then we have this. This is super cool. This is like my favorite part of the car because this is carbon Kevlar. So it's actually like maybe, maybe a pound and a half. Small problem. This hole that we put in the trunk um, or frunk is falling apart because I put this here temporarily and then my big fat cat macchiato actually fell asleep in this and broke it. We have to get this fixed. We have to get something mounted in there. I wanna put, we have kind of an assembly for it for like a 3D component that will come through and it'll shoot down through here, but we have to cut this and figure out how we can actually make it work and then we'll have to test it because if you just cut a hole in there and it doesn't flow, it's useless. Outside of that, coming back to the inside here, it's actually not super bad on the inside. The only problem is, is a lot of the plastic snaps on this car broke at almost the same time. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was just loud or if it was rattly or something happened, but like a lot of the inside door clips have snapped those little yellow pieces. And then I also want to get like, this shit just looks terrible. This shit looks gunky. This shit looks like that sock you don't want to tell your mom about. You know what I'm saying, Dakota? It's just gross. Anyway. Passenger seatbelt also broken. We're gonna get to that later. Finally, the back. So F430s are actually one of the most reliable Ferraris. Bet you didn't think that when you were watching the series, but they are, they're pretty good. There's a couple big weak points. And one of the super big weak, weak points is the exhaust headers. So there's a box over there from Veltronic that we're gonna be installing. And it has race headers and a full flow exhaust. It's going to sound like a Formula One car. This is the old exhaust. I actually got this at, uh, for a deal in like 2020 um, on a marketplace. It's like $2,100 I think is how much it ended up being. This exhaust has broken so many times. Every single year this goddamn tip breaks apart. I'm surprised it's not breaking right now as I'm shaking it. There's maybe eight, 10 welds on this side to just fix the exhaust tip every single year. So we're getting that changed around. We won't have to deal with it anymore. The O2 sensor in the back keeps burning out. And we think that has a lot to do with just the way the exhaust is set up. It's not the greatest exhaust, it's melting it. We're not entirely sure what's going on. So we're gonna have to figure that out as well. New injectors, new gaskets, new air suspension, new exhaust, new headers, new interior clips, new coolant, new oil, and hopefully a new a bigger will to live. We need to get this done. I want to get this done. I want to get this thing running and rocking correctly. A huge goal would be to actually drive this for more than 30 minutes and feel comfortable sitting in traffic without feeling like the car is going to overheat. We are going to go through that together. You and I are going to figure that out together because if we can't figure it out together, Jell's going to have to figure it out. 
He doesn't want to work on this car. You, th you, thought, you thought you didn't want him to work on the Datsun or the Nissan? The Z headers ain't got nothing on Ferrari headers. Anyway, that's what we got going on with the car. I'm actually really excited to get this started. So hopefully you guys are excited with me. And if not, just lie. Kind of like what your mom told when, when you were a kid, your mom told you that you were a great singer and we both knew that you weren't. Just do that to me because I haven't grown up yet.